how important it is for you to look at your goals the night before like how would how oh. well that helps you prep for the mm-hmm. day to come yes it it is really important because to me you just know like uh, how many things you have to do so the night before preparation is like really important to me because i feel like i feel calm I, I sleep well when I know what I'm going to do the next day. Some, sometimes you have some type of like spontaneous things in, in the work. So you, you have to just be really flexible in that way. Let's learn how our next guest gets up, dress up and show up on purpose. Enjoy the episode. Hello, morning enthusiasts. Welcome to the Best Morning Routine Ever podcast. I am your host, Dr. Louise, and today I have the honor of introducing a very special guest to the show, Lika. She is the founding partner of Nomos, a service um, business law firm out in Georgia, and she helps others with um, corporate and business law, real estate, tax, you name it, immigration. Um, She is her to help make your life a lot easier. And we're going to hear today about how she does what she does. And of course, about her morning routine to help her show up um, for the people that she serves. So with no further ado, Lita, welcome to the show. Thanks for inviting me. Thank of you. Of course. It's my pleasure. Um, tell us about your journey. Um, did you always know you wanted to do law and kept going? Not exactly. Actually, I did uh, after my school, after the high school, I started uh, in the uh, Tulsa State University. So it was like my first steps of deciding what I wanted to do. Uh, So basically, I started seven years of law because I liked it in the first year. Otherwise, I would, uh, I'm a type of person that likes to change things that they, they don't like. So uh, basically, I really liked it. So I was keen on uh, business law. So I continue my journey with that. After that, I went to France also to study a bit uh, with international business law. And then I came back and uh, worked in a sev- several law firms in Tbilisi and then decided to go on my own and form my own business. And here I am with Nomos now. Yeah, very nice. And you are multi-language, right? Bilingu- bilingual in many ways. You speak about, what, four or five languages, including... Definitely, um, yeah. <laughs> what other languages do you speak? Uh, yeah, so English I started actually in a really fun way. I had teachers in school, of course, but mainly I studied from the movies because the American, the Hollywood movies was like the big thing when I grew up, when I was growing up. So actually I started there. So I, that is why people tell me like you have an American accent because of the movies that I've been watching this whole time. So, and then with Russian, it is the, it was the obligatory thing to study in school. So I studied Russian there and was Turkish and Germany a German language it was just like my choice to study like Turkey is our neighbor uh, na- neighboring kind country and also German is like really um, uh, really when you are practicing law especially business law hmm. okay uh, that's good to know let's talk about um, some of the things you help your clients with and now I know you do some uh, real estate um, taxes as well. What other house do you help your clients? So uh, our uh, practice area is uh, like that. We're mainly in business in Georgia. Uh, also, uh, we help our clients with immigration, with real estate, um, also with uh, litigation, arbitration, and mm-hmm. uh, business transactions. Okay, so let's talk about Georgia. Then. What makes it so attractive for tax credit residents? Definitely in the world where there is uh, really many uh, countries where it's really hard to do business with its regulation, especially in EU, uh, we consider to be Eastern European countries. So we are lo- located um, in the intersection of Asia and Europe. 
And so we have access to both markets, the, like Asian markets and Euro European markets. And it is the first attraction to the foreigners. And the second one is the low tax system, uh, low tax rates, um, and also sophisticated lifestyle. Um, so our tax rates are like, to give you an example, uh, it's like 15% of corporate taxes, 5% of dividend and royalties, 20% um, uh, of uh, PIT, personal income tax, um, and 18% uh, of VAT. So it's pretty, pretty low considering the, the other European countries. Um, and also our government makes it really easy to do business. They, the customs and laws are made in a way that it attracts more uh, foreigners, uh, foreign investors. So that is like what the, uh, the attraction is all about. Mm. And that's one of the things to look out for, right? When looking at a place to live, it's the low tax cut, tax, tax rate, and also um, like location, location, especially if you're considering um, a business front, a front for your business. Definitely. And especially uh, we have people who are relocating, who are changing their homes, who are, um, who are are taking up with a new lifestyle and with their new lives so like uh, for them it is really important um, of a country to like have all these qualifications in order them to move there right so i think georgia has been for the past 10 years uh prior choice to this type of people who are looking for alternative uh places to live and do business yeah and also that it's beautiful out there too Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Tell us about some of the um, habits and success principles you have to put in place to help you get up, dress up and show up. What's your morning routine like? My morning routine, I usually wake up uh, on a working days at eight and then it is like really common uh, a really common practice to start your work at 10. So we're not like, I know in America, it's like you guys start uh, working pretty early. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yeah. So eight, like I, I wake up at eight and my morning routine is pretty usual. I do, um, I do all the routines with the like self-care and then getting ready and uh, besides that I do and listen in my air airpods like all the time uh every morning the gui guided meditation which is like helps me to gain my energy back to gain my and uh, the night before I always um write down my goals of the day for the next day, so I write down what I uh, what is my to do list, and then I quickly go go through it just to know what is my plan of the day because my days are always planned, except mm -hmm. on the weekends. Um, and also, I like to do some affirmations to to just refocus and to get to work. Yeah, that's amazing. How important it is for you to look at your goals the night before. Like, I would have, oh. well, that helps you prep for the mm -hmm. day to come. Yes, it is, it is really important because to me, uh, if you plan something, you're halfway through. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm I living that way. I plan my days. I plan my weeks. I plan the year. <laughs> I'm a big planner. So I think uh, you are, you just know what to do. You you just know what path to go uh what in which way to go and uh, you just know like uh, how many things you have to do so the night before preparation is like really important to me because i feel like i feel calm i i sleep well <laughs> when i know what i'm gonna do the next day so it's like i ju i i just know some sometimes you have some type of like spontaneous things in in the work so you you have to and just be really flexible in that way, but I think is the key. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um, a lot of times, too, uh, you give the brain something to con to think about the night before, something to mull over while you sleep, so that you can start working on solving some of the problems that you may have or some of the challenges um, to pre better prepare you for the for the day. Um, I I find that um, happens quite a bit. 
And then um, I love that you do my affirmation. It's really like so imperative to keep reminding or reprogram the, the subconscious mind over and over again of like what is um, important. What do you want it to focus on? You want it to focus on the good, right? The pure. You want it to focus on the positivity. Yes. And because the well, negative. I, I was actually not a big believer of affirmations because sometimes you don't really believe what you mm -hmm. say. Yeah. So it's not like you're not feeling it, but then your subconscious mind really remembers it. Ju yes. Just like you have no idea how much it helps, really. Yeah. So I think like you should start focusing on the positive things. You should start uh, focusing on your good side, you, you know, what you have yeah. advantage in this life. So I think it's a really um, smart way Absolutely. to gain your focus. Absolutely. And the subconscious mind, it just, it starts directing your, your where you're going. It starts leading you in that direction of, of abundance, manifestation, because believe it or not, there's a tape playing back there and you want to be in control of it. You want to make sure you know what's, what's playing. And so it, the subconscious mind Definitely. is very, very powerful. So affirmations is the way to go. I agree with you. You don't like, um, believe it at first, but it will sink in. Um, that's the power. Mm -hmm. um, tell us mm -hmm, about, definitely. yeah, and then so your meditation, um, how long do you meditate for? I definitely have like uh, not more than 10 minutes to do it. So there's a lot of YouTube videos with guided meditation. Yeah. You can look it up. Uh, you don't have to pay anything with this type of like um, going to, well, for, for some people, I think going to therapy and have their therapies is either th a thing, but I think we have so much information on the internet and so much uh, where you can just take it from it. So I think um, these videos really help. So like 10 minutes of meditation is enough for, for me and I have like my favorite ones even. So um, I just uh, do it every morning. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so, Lika, tell us, how can we connect with you? Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me and our law firm at uh, nomusgeorgia.com or you can contact us at our email info at nomusgeorgia.com. Awesome. I know you You are well-read. Um, leave us with a quote, one of your favorite quotes that um, you like. Mm. Uh, my favorite quote is in Georgian, so I think I should translate it now. So my favorite quote is, uh, if you believe you're halfway there, something like that. It's, it sounds more beautiful in my language, but in, in English, it's, it's just all, all about hope. It's all about believing. It's all about uh, your mindset. And I think, uh, yeah, people should focus on that. Say it in your language. Uh, yeah, and you said that earlier, right? You said when you look at your goals, you're halfway there. You're, when you plan, you're halfway there. So it's like coming back around full circle because you, when you take the time to actually focus on what you want to do, starting out you know, puts you a step closer to accomplishing it. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today, Lika. It's been a joy having you on the show today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please comment and tell us what was your favorite part, your favorite habit that you are going to try out for yourself today. Comment below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Until next time, I will see you at the top of your best morning routine ever. Stay blessed.